Hi, hello guys. Before we move on, uh, let's congratulate our CLAT 2023 toppers. Uh, so here uh, we are here to congratulate AR2 uh, Sahil Gupta, AR37 Pratyush Chaturvedi and AR96 Komal Gadwal. And apart from these three, we had 70 plus NLU admits guys. So 70 plus people from an academy reaching out to NLU. So if you want to be one among them, all that you need to do is subscribe to an academy CLAT channel and do subscribe to an academy platform and attend our plus classes, take mock tests and you will be on the list. And this is not just happened in 2023 season. So we have done it in 2022 as well. So in 2022, we had 45 plus people attending uh, from an academy going to NLUs. And in 2023, we made it double, close to 70 plus people going there. Hi, hello guys, I'm Kalyan Charan VSG. And uh, today we're going to discuss with properties of integers. And if you have missed out our first video, which is uh, classification of numbers, please go and see it in the description box. And let's start today's discussion. And today we are going to see with properties of integers. And to start with guys, what is an integer? If you have missed out our first video, as I said, please visit that and come back. Integer is a number which can be expressed in the form of P by Q where q equals to 1 or a factor of p. Now, what are the properties of integers? So, properties of integers normally will have uh, basic arithmetic operations, which is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Let's quickly see what are the properties and how integers behave in these. And we have also seen that uh, integers have been classified into natural numbers which is positive integers which is 1, 2, 3 so on so forth and 0 which is neither positive nor negative and negative numbers which is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 so on so forth. Right. So, this is the classification of integers that we have discussed. Now, when it comes to addition, what happens if I add two integers? So, for example, 2 plus 1, which is 3, which is an integer. And subtraction, 2 minus 1, 1, which is an integer. Multiplication, integer into integer, 2 into 1 is 2, so which is an integer again. So, guys, whenever you stuck with properties of integers, all that you need to do is take out a number, think about a number, think about two, num two integers, least being 1 and 2 and see the result. Whatever comes out, that's your result. And division, integer by integer. Is this an integer? Guys, you need to be careful. It's not always necessary that it has to be an integer. So, for example, again, let's take out an example. 4 by 2. Sir, 4 and 2 are integers. 4 by 2 is 2. It is an integer. Yes, it is an integer in this case. What happens if it is 4 by 3 where it is 1.33, 1.33, remember, that's a decimal number, not an integer. Hence, here, it's not an integer. So, when it comes to division, we can never say the division of two integers will always lead to an integer. But in all the other three cases, we can definitely say that it is an integer. So, this is the very first property of integers, which is arithmetic operation properties of integers. Apart from it, we also need to understand few aspects before we get deeper into integers. Guys, let's see the number line. In number line, this is 0, right? And this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, so on, so forth, this side. And here, it's minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so on, so forth, this side. So, from left to right, if you move, right oh my left your right your right my left but here from here to here if you move right the numbers value will keep increasing which means remember minus 3 is less than minus 2 is less than minus 1 is less than 0 is less than 1 so if i say 1 is greater than 0 1 is greater than 0 but minus 1 is less than 0 and similarly, minus 2 is less than minus 1 and 2 is greater than 1. 
I suppose you all might have learnt it in your childhood, that is where I just thought of reminding you this particular entity from in the number line when you put the numbers in. So, from when you move from one left hand side to the right hand side which is minus infinity to plus infinity, the value keeps rising. Now, come back to the actual part of today's discussion that is the properties of integers. For that, we need to understand what are the properties that exist only to integers, right. For that, the very first property that we have for integers is even and odd. Guys, the concept of even and odd exist only for integers, all right. Now, the second property is prime and composite. The second property is prime and composite. Remember, prime and composite exist only for integers and most importantly, it exists only for positive integers, which is natural numbers, right. And the third property is factors and multiples. Remember factor of a number and you remember what is a factor? We have discussed this in the previous class, isn't it? What is a factor? Factor is a number which perfectly divides a given number, isn't it? What is a multiple? Multiple is a number which gets perfectly divided by a number. Right. So, factor and multiple or a combination of numbers when it comes to divisibility, uh, we discuss about each one of them in detail. Right. Now, if I say even and odd, again I refer to the number line. On my number line 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4. Now, let's quickly see what is an even number, what is an odd number. Guys, remember a number which perfectly gets divided by 2. What do you mean by perfectly divided, divided by 2? Is whenever I divide a number by 2, if it gives me a reminder as 0. Interesting. When a number is divided by 2, it should give me a reminder as 0. Do you remember the division formula? So, for example, here I take 4. If 4 is divided by 2, it leaves me a quotient as 2 and this 2 is called as divisor and reminder is 0. So, guys remember divisor is a number which is dividing, quotient is a number is the outcome of the division, reminder is how much is left out. Now, whenever I divide a number by 2, if it leaves me a reminder as 0, then this becomes an even number. Am I clear with the definition of an even number? Any number which leaves a reminder 0 when it is divided by 2 is called as an even number. Now, what is odd number for that matter? Whenever a number is divided by 2, leaves a reminder is equal to 1, then we call that as an odd number. Simple, because whenever I divide a number by 2, only two possibilities are there, one reminder being 0, other reminder being 1. So, if reminder is 0, we call that as an even number, when reminder is equal to 1, we call that as an odd number. Now, come to the number line, 1, 2 by 1 or 1 by 2, the reminder is 1, hence this is odd. 2, 2 divided by 2, reminder is 0, isn't it? Hence, this is even. 3, odd, because 3 by 2, reminder is 1. 4 is even and minus 1. Oh, sir, does this exist for negative numbers as well? Guys, even and odd exist for all integers. So, you haven't said that before. Yes, prime and composite exist only for positive integers. Even and odd exist for all the integers. And similarly, factors and multiples also exist for all the integers. Now, is minus 1 odd or even? Sir, we know 1 is odd, so its reflection will also be odd. Minus 2, even. Minus 3, odd. Minus 4 is even. All right. Now, we know odd and even. So far, so good. Sir, positive integers, negative integers, odd and even exist for both the integers. But there is one person left out here. Who is he? Mr. Zero. 
is he an odd or even guys please comment it in the box is 0 an odd number or an even number 0 by 2 the remainder is 0 oh perfect and remainder is not 1 guys hence 0 is even or a number between two odd numbers is an even number if you observe any number between two odd numbers is an even number and 0 is between two odds hence 0 is even so remember 0 is neither positive nor negative but 0 is even clear with this now what is prime number or a composite number so prime number is a number which has only two factors a number which has only two factors out of those two factors the one factor should be one and other factor has to be the number itself a number which has only two factors as one and itself is called as a prime number remember that one is a factor of all the numbers one is a good friend to everybody in the class right because he is a factor to everybody and number itself will always be a factor for that number right it's like self uh, help kind of thing so every number will be factor to itself so a number a prime number which is a number which has only two factors those two factors must be one and itself it should not have any other factor so it's like a closed person wherein he'll have only friend as one person and himself that's it only two he is a prime person and what is composite a number which has more than two factors is called as a composite number and we have discussed already what is a factor which perfectly divides what is a factor a number which perfectly divides a given number is said to be the factor of that given number what is a multiple which perfectly gets divided by so multiple is a number which gets divided perfectly by will be a multiple of that number and a number which divides will be a factor that's about properties of integers and in the next video we are going to see in detail about even and odd prime and composite factors and multiples so stay tuned and do subscribe to an academy CLA channel and let's focus on CLA 2024 and let's crack it. See you in the next session.